guest, as can be, almost, really. Um, our next guest is, well, first of all, she's an incredible artist. She is um, on Sesame Street. She is a, yeah, I mean, you don't get much better in the, I believe in the puppet world, that's the pinnacle. That's, that's where everyone wants to be, is in, uh, on, at least me. If I had a puppet, I'd want to be on Sesame Street. This lady is the sweetest, most charming, delightful, gorgeous, sweet, kind, Leslie Carrera Rudolph! a stool and I forgot all about that. I'm gonna get, can we use your stool? <laughs> stool. <laughs> stool. That's funny. How to? I don't know. There you go. Oh, wow. That's it. See, look at that. You squeeze it and it goes up. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> Lastly, you just came straight from frickin' Sesame Street. What's going on over there? Oh, um, well, the coronavirus is in Hooper's store, but it's, oh, no, that's too soon. That's a horrible thing. I was trying to do a callback, but it's awful. This isn't the green mic, is it? What, what kind of mic? mic? The green mic. I was worried about that one. Mike. Well, you felt No, like I was... don't want that. That was the green Oh, jeez. Beware the green mic. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at your little pretty beads. You're a pretty little lady. Give us a little something about yourself. Where'd you grow up? Um, Pleasant Hill, California. I'm from California, too. That's right. I grew up in San Diego Brilliant. with my one of my best friends. He's here tonight, Steve Gunderson. Look at him. There he is. There he is back there. And, of course, she hates it when I book point around, but she's also one of my best friends. Kathy and Jimmy's right there. Oh, don't say my name. Don't say my name. She's right over there. That's right. Okay. I don't care. I'll say it if I want. All right. Um, anyway, they're from California, too. We all grew up in San Diego. So you're a California gal. And then what brought you to New York? Um, Sesame Street. Sesame Street. How long have you been on Sesame Street? Um, 14 years. Oh, my God. And what's your character's name? She's Abby. What's the last name? Abby Kadabi. <laughs> Abby Kadabi. Oh, see? You've got your fans here, Leslie. Oh, honey, you're adorable. Is there anything you would like to say before you... Uh, usher me off the stage. Oh, no. I, um, Speak right into oh, that mic, sweetie. Uh, see? Hi. Thanks for having me. I don't get out much. I don't, I, I, this is wonderful. Thank you for I everybody. love you. I could listen to you talk all the time. Like Go ahead, that. ladies and gentlemen, Leslie Carrara. Rudolph! <laughs> this is, um, this, no, I think I can do it. I'm pretty, yeah, that, that's like good. This is oddly, um, thank you. Um, I am going, now I want to stand. I, think. I, I wasn't, so I, um, so I'm, I'm, I, I brought a friend that doesn't really know that I brought her here. So I just have to get her out before we start. And then, um, so this is, and I'm not a ventriloquist, so that's not going to happen. Because if I, okay, so uh, you'll, that's pretty much, you'll see that. So. You dirty laundry, I'm a sock, I resent that. It was filthy and awful, and then you put me in this sack, and then I'm not doing, I'm not, no, no, I'm not doing it.
about Marilyn. I need her. She's, well, I don't know where. She's in there. I can't perform without Marilyn. Marilyn's my Planet of the Apes glamour model. <laughs> She's my Pete. She grows colored hair on her back and poops bananas. It's okay, she's empty. She won't leave a skate mark. It's really nice here. What are we doing? I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do paper moon. Why, boss? All right, you know it? <laughs> well, actually, Lolly, I didn't, I, didn't, I, I didn't bring the music. We're gonna sing it a, a cappella. What? Are you kidding me? We're gonna sing it? We're awkward fella in front of all these people? No, it, uh, it's a cappella. No, it's gonna be awkward fella because I, because we have to sing without music. Okay, shh, just do it, we're fine. Hi. This is a song that we do for kids. <laughs> it's only a paper moon hanging over a cardboard sea, but it wouldn't be make believe if you believe in me. It's only a canvas sky hanging over a muslin tree. But it wouldn't be make-believe if you believe in me. Without your love, it's a honky-tonk parade. Without your love, it's a melody played in a penny arcade. It's a Barnum and Bailey world, just as phony as it's a big, fat, phony world, and I can't take it. Lolly, Lolly, this is embarrassing. Sorry, just a minute. Lolly, I can't think it anymore. You know what? It's true. You know, in this world, you, you, you pull me out of that bag, and I never know what I'm going to get. For once, you could pull me out in Disneyland, but no. I'm always in the basement somewhere. <laughs> Never get to perform on stage. <laughs> and, then, and then, I mean, well, Lolly, but we do a lot of important work, you know? I mean, you, we go to, we, we do all kinds of outreach and we talk to kids and, yeah, that's what I'm upset about. <laughs> well, is this it? Well, sometimes you pull me out and, well, when I'm with the kids, I talk to them and they tell me lots of things. And, and it's hard for me. And, and I know that they, they're wanting to feel some, something in their hearts and all, and, and I, I give all I can, but well, what if sometimes you pull me out around all these people? And what if they don't believe in me? Well, Amali, I think they do believe in you. Yeah, but I'm not even real. <laughs> I think you're real. I think, you know, I think when people and the kids we talk to and wherever you are or wherever, I mean, we never know when we wake up in the morning. It's like being pulled out of a bag or something, you don't, you step into the room. I was terrified tonight and we didn't know what we were gonna get. But if you start right here, and we all need to believe in something and we don't know if it's, we don't know if it's real or not or, or, or true. For some people, they believe in God or angels or fairies. Fairies are real. <laughs> but sometimes, Lolly, it's just believing in each other that makes the biggest difference of all. When life becomes a challenge And you feel you've hit an end If you have a friend That's a plan
class mm -hmm. and when troubles are nearing it's cheering to recall that there's a little magic in all of us <laughs> if you don't fit in or feel left out believe cast away uncertainty and doubt believe follow your heart and it'll make your dreams come true why not have a little faith in yourself i do a discard disbelief and every qualm believe Soon you'll find a strength and quiet calm. Believe you can open any door, you can soar, you can fly. Go on, try, don't ask why. I believe I believe. <laughs> Who can say what magic will achieve? Though gloom and doomers may perceive our simple motto as naive, have faith and trust and just be. be, 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 be. Have faith and trust and just believe. I believe in you, Lolly. I believe in you, and I believe in all of you. Leslie Carrera, Rudolph, and Lolly.